Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is Danelle from Painted and I am doing an impromptu unplanned live and I decided that um, I was going to be making candles and I thought, you know what, why not do it live with you guys because I'm going to do it no matter what and I have done a live before showing you guys how easy this is and I figured that in case you missed that other one, while I'm doing it, if you have any questions, this would be a great time to pop them in the comments. So while I'm making them, if something doesn't make sense to you or you have a question, you can ask me. And I just wanna show you guys how absolutely easy it is. If you saw earlier, I just restocked the candle making kits that I carry in my studio and I only offer them in the studio and also here on Facebook. You cannot purchase them on my website. That's part of the agreement I have with the manufacturer. So if you have no clue what I'm even talking about right now, let me show you. I have these adorable little, um, they're by Farm Fine Candles. And if you look at the pinned post on my business page, you're gonna see it. And I just posted all the ones that I have still available because I did take pre-orders and I already shipped all those out. So the people who ordered one, they are on their way to you. But the ones that I have left, I put it in on the pin post. So if you guys want one, you can just go ahead and comment on it. But of course I hoarded some for myself because I tell you guys, I'm a crafter, I'm a maker, I'm a painter first, and I'm a retailer second. And, and I'm glad that I can say that and mean that. So I'm excited to make the things, right? Because some of these I'm making for myself, some I'm making for the live sale, and then obviously um, for my studio too. So I have been um, gathering some really adorable containers that I'm going to be making into candles. And I figured, you know what? I have about 30 minutes before I have to go pick up my daughter. Today is her first day of school. So I have all these mixed emotions already and I'm home alone, which just feels weird. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna make candles and now I won't feel like I'm home alone. I can talk with you guys and um, answer any questions you might have while I make the candles. So first, what I wanna show you is what comes, in case you have no clue what I'm talking about, what comes in one of these little kits. And I am going over the normal um, 12 ounce kit. So this kit costs $16. And um, when I say small kit and large kit, the small kit is this one for $16. And just know the large kit is double the quantity of everything I'm gonna show you in this one. And the large kit costs $29. So in a small kit, I probably should have like untied the knot ahead of time. Oh no, this one will be easy on me. Of course you get the cute little burlap bag. And I'm telling people, don't throw away this burlap bag. The other side has nothing on it. So as a decorator, I would completely reuse this bag and maybe use it for like holiday decor. You know, with Christmas coming up or even with fall, you could fill it with something and tie something around and reuse the bag because the whole purpose behind this company is to you know, be resourceful and be re renewable and to reuse and recycle. That's why we're taking things that most likely have been forgotten or things that people would discard and we're, re we're reusing them. Such as, for example, I'm gonna be making a candle in this little cute creamer, right? I'm reusing it. Its, intend it's intended purpose was never to be a candle, obviously, but now it's going to be not only functional but adorable too. Okay, so let me show you. Inside, you're gonna get 12 ounces, and this scent is Grandpa's Tobacco. I have to admit, I think I have three top favorites, and I know you guys are gonna ask me, like, which one do you love the most? Grandpa's Tobacco is, I think, my number one. I just love the fragrance. You'll see, I'll put a link, and it'll describe each scent, but I love Grandpa's Tobacco. It is a unique scent. It's hard to describe, but it just smells really good. I absolutely, my number two is probably pumpkin roll. Um, that smell, I don't wanna say it's seasonal because it's not, I feel like that's a scent that you could have in your house all year round. And if I have to pick a third, it's really hard because I have like a, a tie, but I love spice rack. Spice rack again is really awesome. And you know, there's not one that I have that I think is a ugh smell because there's a lot of scents that I did not decide to retail because I was not a fan of them. However, the ones that I have are all ones that I think are, you know, good scents. So it comes in this container, and this container, again, is a recyclable container, and this is what we're gonna use to heat up our wax, and the wax is a soy wax. Hey, Michelle, I see Michelle is on. Michelle loves a little creamer, right? Isn't that cute? If you guys have been following me, you know I love 
silver patina and you're gonna see the collection of goodies I have are all silver well look at this is what I had to move off my island so that I could um, do this video but like that's my um, decor piece that goes on my island so I love that's a, um, a vintage ice bucket I love anything silver patina shows some age looks like it has a story to it okay inside your little bag you're also gonna get directions there's plenty of directions, even has like a video link. You're going to get with the 12 ounce, two wicks. So typically I would tell you guys that the 12 ounce container can make two small size candles or one larger candle and you could use it with like making it into a two wick candle. And it also has two wick stickers. These wick stickers are what are gonna make your wicks um, hold into place. Okay, so that is what each bag contains and then if you get the larger size obviously it's double that so you would get two of these if you got the big kit four wicks etc and um and obviously the um the directions and also it has two sets of chopsticks the chopsticks which i think is absolutely genius these are what we're going to use to hold our wicks in place So because I'm going to be making a ton, of course, for myself, it's more cost efficient to do a big kit. So I am using big kits and I'm going to do, I'll do grandpa's tobacco. And let me show you guys some of my cute little containers. Like how adorable, right? I don't know. You guys like it. I think that's so cute. And what I love about something like this is once my candle is obviously you know done i can just clean out the wax and have this cute little sugar dish or i could just obviously keep refilling it if i want so i have this one i'm going to be making and this one and hey if you guys follow my live sales these are kind of like some sneak peeks because some of these are going to be in the live sale i don't know which how many i'm going to be able to make with you guys but i have that one okay um, but what I wanted to show you guys was basically the rule is if it can hold water and it's not flammable, it can become a candle. So obviously if it was something made out of like a paper material, we don't want to make a candle in it. If it's something made out of like a rubber or something, we don't want to make a candle. But if it's made out of like a heavy duty glass, like this vintage jelly jar, you could totally turn that into a candle, right? Um, another rule is the wicks have a three inch in diameter burn pool. So what that means is when you're looking at your containers, when you're finding something to make a candle, um, you need to figure that your wick is going to, its flame is going to melt the wax three inches around. If, you're, if your container's opening is larger than three inches, you're going to need more than one wick. So I tell people have a, you know, a tape measure and measure your size. So obviously this one is three inches. I'm only gonna need one wick and I'm just gonna center it. Now to show you guys, so you can get a good idea of what I mean, ahead of time, because I'm not afraid to do like big things, this one I'm making for myself, and who knows, after I burn it, I might make it again and share it with all of you, but I thought how cool is this gonna be on my stove? This casserole dish, because I love that silver patina, right? I'm gonna make this for myself. And look at how many wicks I'm putting in that bad boy. I didn't even count, I don't even know how many that is. So what I had to do was I measured it. You know, I used the tape measure and I made sure that diameter wise, I had each wick about three inches apart so that when this thing burns, it's not going to like tunnel straight down and I'm gonna have all this wax you know, around it, I want it to burn evenly. And another tip, you guys, is even if you're not using these candles and you're just using any random candle from anywhere, they always say the first burn is important. And what they mean by that is the first time you burn a larger size candle, even like those big doble candles that um, I retail, you want to allow that first burn to melt all the way across before you blow it out. By doing that, you are way less likely to have your wax start burning straight down and doing that tunneling. If you start lighting a candle and let's say you're like, mm, I'm gonna go run an errand, so I'm gonna blow it out right away. 
Try to plan when you're lighting those big candles that you know you're gonna be around long enough that it's gonna have the opportunity to burn all the way across. So I always say, you know, kind of plan that strategically, especially on that first burn, because it's important. So I just wanted to show you, you can make a gigantic candle like I'm going to, and I don't know, um, you guys will have to use a measuring cup. I, on my fridge, it actually tells how many ounces in liquid. So what I did was I measured how much liquid ounces this thing's gonna hold, and it actually is perfect for using a double kit. So I'm going to make myself in pumpkin roll um, using the double kit, the 24 ounce. So this is gonna be a gigantic pumpkin roll candle, and it's gonna take the two, the double kit of 24 ounces. And I thought, how fun is that for fall? So if my husband's watching, surprise, we're gonna have a giant pumpkin candle. <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to show you guys that this is an option too. You can make huge candles. Okay, so let's get started. I'll make one with you guys because like I said, I do have to watch the time. I have to pick up my daughter from school and she was nervous for her first day and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous too. I'm nervous for the whole pickup because I have no idea what that's gonna be like. Okay. So in the directions that come in your bag, it says that you're gonna take off the cover. And, and just so you know, my cover on this one, see that little crack? They do get damaged sometimes in shipping. This, is, this doesn't matter, we don't need this again. Um, unless you don't use all your wax, you are gonna pop it back on. But honestly, that crack's not gonna really do anything. So if you get one and it does have a little crack in it, I don't want you freaking out thinking like, oh no, my thing won't work. This part we're not gonna use. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it in our microwave. There's my microwave. We're gonna put it in for 30 seconds. This first time, I always tell you guys, do 30 seconds and you're gonna be safe. Um, one thing you're going to need is a spoon. I like to use disposable. Hey April, I see April's watching. I see there's quite a few people watching. I didn't even ask you guys, can you hear me? Hopefully I'm talking and you guys can actually hear what I'm saying. I see my, I have my dogs outside and I can see they're coming to the door. So I pray they don't start. Yeah, they're trying to get in. We'll see how this goes. Give me some thumbs up if you guys can hear me and everything. Cause yeah, I have the dishwasher going right now. <laughs> okay. So once you do the first, uh Oh, I, did, I should look. Hey Tammy. Um, give me thumbs up guys. Can you hear me? I didn't even ask. I hope that thumbs up was that you heard me and I don't know. Okay, I'm hoping things are working. Okay, okay, good, I see another one. So I'm thinking that means everything's good. After that first 30 seconds, you're gonna feel that it's a little warm. It is not so hot that you have to use hot pads or anything like that, you can just grab it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two hands and you're just gonna squeeze the container. Let me move this a little bit, okay? And you're just gonna squeeze it and kind of mush up your stuff. You guys, anyone can do this. You can't mess it up. Now in the directions, it says put it in your microwave for another 30 seconds. My microwave is way too powerful for that other 30 seconds. The first time I did it, it made my stuff like com complete liquid. We do not want our wax to become complete liquid. That can actually damage the scent. So I would rather have you do less time and do more rounds with the microwave and just be careful. If you have an older microwave, Maybe it's less powerful and you do need the 30 seconds, but I would rather have you do less. So for me, 15 seconds is my sweet spot. So I'm gonna go ahead, just do 15 more seconds, and you'll see, because the consistency we want is almost like, like porridge, like a soft baby food type, I'll show you. Um, you don't want it to be like super liquidy. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna get my chopsticks ready. I just realized I totally forgot to do quite a few steps. When you grab it out that second time, be careful because now it's a lot more soft. So you don't wanna like whip it out really fast in case it was soft, you don't want it to like spill over. But what I like about this is you don't have to rush. Like you don't have to freak out thinking stuff is gonna, you know, get messed up. I'm gonna put you guys down and show you how absolutely easy this is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab out from my kit my wick and my wick stickers. 
And the Wix stickers look like this. And all you do is you pick one off and you put it on the bottom of your wick and just push it. And then you pick this part off like that. And then you're gonna center it. Here, I'll just do this one. You're gonna center it in the center of your dish. Make sure your container is clean, obviously, ahead of time. So I'm just going to center it and then push it down so it's standing. And then you see how my wick is all wobbly? This is why we need the chopstick. So the chopstick, obviously you have to unwrap it. It comes nicely wrapped like this. You're just gonna slide, you're not gonna break it, but you're gonna just slightly open it up and you're gonna slide your wick in between it like that. And see how it's nicely now holding my wick up straight? Just eyeball it because this is how my wick is going to look in my candle. So you wanna make sure it's centered. Hey, Roz, we're making candles if you're tuning in late. So right now, this container, oh, can you guys see this? This candle or container is ready to pour. So I have my disposable spoon. My wax is nice and soft. I'm just going to start stirring it up. And to be honest, guys, this part, the stirring, is probably the part that takes the longest. Because it obviously, I'm talking, so I'm going a lot slower than I normally would. So I'm just gonna stir. And I tell you guys that if you have some clumps, don't freak out. And the wax, while I'm stirring it, it's actually um, you know moving around and melting at the same time. And let's say my wax felt um, like it's hard to stir, I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave for a little bit more time. But I'm, I'm gonna hold this up and show you guys my consistency so you can see. It's kind of like pudding, I guess. Let me move some of this stuff. Can you guys see that? That is like the consistency we're going for. Kind of porridgey, baby foodish, pudding-like, okay? So I'm gonna just kind of shake that off. And what's nice is you can pour directly out of this container. Like I said, it's not hot or anything. I can just squeeze it. And when I squeeze it, I can make it kind of pointy. And then I can pour into my candle. And you don't wanna fill it all the way up to the container. Leave yourself a little bit of room. And I'll show you guys once I'm done pouring. But like I said, I used to make candles the um, other way where you would melt the wax, add in the fragrance, and my gosh, first of all, if you didn't burn yourself, like that was a miracle. But knowing which temperature to add stuff in and all that, I thought it was stressful. This is so easy and I feel like it's goof proof. And the candles turn out amazing every time, so sign me up for easy. Okay, so. I'm just gonna clean that up. So once you pour it, then you take your candle and you wanna just kinda like tap it against um, your surface to get the air bubbles out. So I'm gonna go like this. Oh, am I missing questions? So, so this can be added to any. Um, Roz, we talked about that earlier. We wanna make sure that whatever container we're putting it into, that it's something that could hold, that won't be flammable. So um, I, it has to obviously hold water too so that it won't leak, but obviously also not be flammable. Oh, I missed the rest of it. I'm gonna have to look at comments later because now they went up too fast that I missed it. Okay. So when you do this tapping, it gets out any air bubbles and it gives you a nice smooth surface. I don't wanna tip it too much, obviously. Oops, can you guys see that? So when I'm done, I'm just gonna now put it down and I'm gonna, if I have to reposition my wick to make sure that it's centered nicely, that's it. The hardest part, you guys, is this waiting game. So now I'm supposed to wait seven days for the wax technically to cure before I burn it. 
So the candle's made. Once, honestly, in like two hours, it's gonna be nice and hard. I can go ahead and I can trim that wick. And I like to trim the wicks just even with like my container because I left about eh, a half inch between um, the wax line with the top of my container. So I like to just go about level with the container. And then in about seven days, it's ready to burn. So like the hardest part is just waiting those seven days. Okay, I, I do have to get a little bit closer so I can read the questions. I'm gonna have to touch it because it says see more so because I can't read your whole thing. Hopefully this doesn't mess up everything. <laughs> She's thinking there's, um, look what's on my notifications today. They're convinced they're listening. I don't know. I'm just happy my candle order arrived. <laughs> but you guys, my whole point of this is just, just to show you how super easy this is. I feel like, you know, this would be a fun project for you to do with a kid. I feel like anyone can do this. My daughter, she's 12. Obviously she can make these easily. The only thing you're going to need at home is your own container. Um, I recommend, like I put down a piece of saran wrap on my counter just because I'm out of tin foil. Usually that's what I like to use. Um, you're gonna need a spoon to stir your wax and obviously a microwave to heat it up, but that's it. Um, are there any other questions? I have about 10 minutes and then I have to hit the road. But yeah, super easy, super fun. I'm not spying on you, Rhonda. I'm just checking if there are any more questions, but if you're tuning in late, basically what I did was I showed you guys how easy it is to make a candle. I'm using um, the candle report kits. They're the farm finds. I have it pinned to the top of my page, the different scents that I do have available. They come in two different sizes. The small container um, contains the 12 ounce worth of wax and that is $16. And then the double container, which is basically double all the contents, um, that is $29. And the little candle I just made Obviously I used one wick and let me show you guys what is left out of my wax. That might help you get an idea. Um, I still have obviously more than 50% of this container. So that container, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, that size container is small. So I could, you know, if I had extra wicks, which I do have um, as an option, you can purchase five extra wicks for $3.99. Um, you could make more than just two candles with the small size kit, you would just be making obviously smaller size um, candles. Um, how many scents? Roz, you're gonna have to look at the post that's pinned at the top because this round I offered different scents. So I don't even know the answer to that question. I don't know um, how many I have right now. Um, I need to do that with my candle pour thingy. I already bought three adorable teacups. Get on it, Marion. Get pouring. We're supposed to be best friends. You should be making your candles right now with me. Okay, any other questions before I say adios, my friends? Um, Michelle, I, get ready. Once you make one, you're going to become the crazy candle lady with me because I think it's fun. Um... I feel like you want to turn everything into a candle just because it's fun and every single stinking pretty little dish you see at vintage places or rummage sales or wherever you were like, oh, I can make a candle in that. Or at least that's how my brain now works. I want to make a candle in everything. Obviously, I'm going to turn a huge, if you're tuning in late, like Roz, I don't know if you saw that. Look what I'm making for my house. This, I think it's like a casserole dish. I don't know. I'm making world's biggest candle for my family. <laughs> Tammy, Tammy, I got a bunch of candle stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off guys. Um, but as you can see, I love this stuff too. So I'm gonna be making what, like, I don't know, eight, nine candles. I'll post a picture of all the cute little containers I'm gonna be making. So. Yeah, oh snap, that thing's big, right? I'm excited. But I wanted to show you guys that it, it doesn't matter. You can make a gigantic candle, obviously. You just have to have a bunch of wicks and make sure that with the wicks I'm carrying, they have a three inch um, burn pool. 
So your options are endless, which I think is super fun. So, okay, I'm gonna sign off. If you guys do have any questions or I missed something, put it in the comments and I will follow up with you guys. Okay, have a wonderful day, guys. Take care, see ya.